प्रेस द बेल आइकन ऑन द यूट्यूब ऐप एंड गेट रेगुलर अपडेट्स फ्रॉम ए फोक्स वेलकम टू ए रिशभ यर सो राइट नाउ आई एम इन दी ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी स्कॉड ऑफ टाविया एंड जस्ट यू नो बिफोर बिगिनिंग विद द वीडियो जस्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई विल लाइक टू आस्ट यू गाइज दैट आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू हिंदी चैनल सो और इधर अ हिंदी चैनल और अ हिंदी प्ले लिस्ट समथिंग लाइक दैट यू नो वेयर ऑब्वियसली आई गिव यू द सेम कंटेंट बट इन द डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज ऑब्वियसली हिंदी सो शुड आई डू इट और शुड आई नॉट जस्ट यू नो I need your reviews. I need your suggestions. So please write them down in the comment box below. And uh, as always, I'll give you the top six reasons to buy this car. So stay tuned and keep watching. As always, starting our video from the exteriors. Obviously, we'll talk about its front first. And oh my God, it doesn't look like the Octavia anymore. Talking specifically and only about the headlights, they are new. and increased in number uh, technically yes because it has got a quad headlight setup with DRS running through the entire LED module which lights up when it detects low light other prominent modifications included are restyled bumpers and front grille resembling its bigger sibling superb and for the cherry on the cake there is a chrome strip running across the bumper too the next thing we talk about is its side and its wheel obviously whose duty is taken care by R16 Alcatraz alloy wheels and not to be confused with Alcantara just above which are the windows with chrome strips along the side now come to the rear of the car and you'll discover many elements that are typical Skoda with the same ish led tail light design and a boot a big boot to be precise a 590 liter of boot with hooks and what not in terms of dimensions Octavia is 4670 mm long With a width of 1841 mm and stands tall at 1476 mm, with a ground clearance of 155 mm. Get inside and you will feel the real difference. You will notice a big screen and knobs here and there, even on the roof. The dash feels good with beige and black color combination, on which that big screen, AC controls, and a couple of buttons are placed. The steering wheel is also filled with buttons, but its functionality will be discussed later. The interior is well lit. And to be honest, a light accompanies you almost everywhere. And again, to give you that premium touch, it has got ambient lighting with eight colors to choose from. The build and the quality of materials used is fantastic. There's enough room for those seated at the back as well. They have been taken care with rear AC vents, foot lights, armrest, and a sunshade just on the rear windshield for their convenience. Talking about the features in brief, this car has got a lot. Starting from the big screen, I have been mentioning again and again. that's the infotainment system actually a sharp and vibrant 8 inch color touch screen which is used to control a lot of stuff like the ambient light color 3d maps smart link boss connect and what not so starting from its feature list you will get a usb port aux in climatronic dual zone automatic air conditioning system kc that is k e w s y which is keyless entry start and exit system cruise control 12 way driver seat adjustment system with memory system to store up to 3 settings which is also quite up market more features like retractable side view mirrors headlamp washers front glove compartment and a couple of more cubby spaces are available and no can forget the giant panoramic sunroof which is controlled with a non conventional dial but it's fine these were just the features for the front but don't worry the rear passengers are also taken care With two USB charging ports in the rear, just below the AC vents, and as said before, they also get a center armrest with cup holders in it. Most probably, the most amazing feature I have experienced in a car, and that is added in this car, is the hands-free parking system. So that's a lot about the features. Now coming down to the safety aspects of this car, that is taken care by airbags. We have nine airbags all around the car. Other than that, a rear view camera, hill hold control, and IBUS fatigue alert system, which evaluates the data. from the power steering and alerts the driver is also available now coming down to the point which you might have been waiting for the most under the hood there will be three engine options just like you have now a four cylinder 1.4 liter tsi petrol engine producing 150 ps and 250 nm of torque 1.8 liter tsi petrol developing 180 ps and 250 nm of torque and finally a 2.0 liter tdi diesel developing 140 ps and 320 nm of torque Transmission duties have been taken care by a 6-speed manual or an automatic 6-speed and as well as a 7-speed DSG. 
And coming down to the prices, this car can be yours at a price of 15.492 lakhs ex-showroom Delhi. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'll give you the top 6 reasons to buy the Skoda Octavia. So on number 1, a lot of features are available in this car for your needs which is good. Number 2, this car gives you a luxurious feel when inside the car with premium material build quality. Number 3, safety is taken good care with features like 9 airbags and hill hold control. Number 4, advanced tech is used which is quite good. Number 5, good and easy reachable boot space with a lower loading lip is available. And the last but not the least, on number 6, we have got a huge panoramic sunroof. So this was it for today, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Do check out my channel for more videos like this and as always, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.